Hello dear Swissies, the next adventure is up. We go to spring today. Well, it is almost spring here. Huh? But we want to have um Okay. We want to have warmer temperatures because right now we have eight degrees. Huh? And we want to have 18 degrees at least. Yeah, Yeah, that's why we go into the south today. I'm quite sure we will have a very, very nice drive down. It's about three hours. Yeah, I will cut maybe a little bit. Huh? Yeah, we have three hours until we are at our goal. Yeah, Rasta don't know where we go. <laughs> Girl, baby. Yeah, he is behind me in his car suite. <laughs> yeah waiting for the next plans. Yeah, enjoy, girl. I don't talk uh, all the times because um, otherwise I have to do so many corrections with the subtitles. So let's, let's enjoy, girl. I tell you a little bit about the place we go. It is near Ascona and Locarno. It is in the Macha Valley. There are two main valleys in this area. The one is the Macha Valley and the other one is the Verzaska Valley. Yeah. Um, and Today we're going to the Macha Valley just to get some warm air. <laughs> yeah, but because after these stormy days, this week we need some spring wipes. Mm -hmm. I am not sure if we will see some flowers, but um, I hope so. But at least we have some warm sun rays and a good time. This is the most important thing. As usual, we have to to uh, go over the Brunig Pass. Brunig Pass is the connection to almost everywhere. Yes, and in summer, of course, I could go over. Um, Grimsel or oh, what's the name of the other bus? I forgot. Grimsel and I, I, I. They need to be reopened, otherwise I forget all the names of the bus roads. <laughs> yeah, einfach der andere, nicht die Grimsel. Yeah. Is it Splügen? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Yes, but in winter um, the pass roads are closed. Also, the Gotthard pass is closed. That means we need to go through the Gotthard tunnel. 
a long, long and boring Gotthard tunnel down. There is no other way. But the day looks good. I'm quite sure that we will have a lot of fun and a lot to see. Ah, I wanted to tell you a little bit about the place. You know, uh, Matcha Valley. Um, and in the Matcha Valley, we are not in Matcha. We are in a little village before Matcha. The village is called Ronquino. The Ronquino. I think Ronquino is right. Ronquino. And there I found uh, some small rustico houses. Um, where dogs are allowed because normally rusticos <laughs> rusticos um, tun sich ein schwer mit Hund. Um, many rusticos do not allow uh, do not allow dogs in there yeah but uh, in this rustico dogs are no problem so we will cook there and we will hike there a little bit, drinking some Ticino Merlo. <laughs> yeah, typically, typically, red wine of uh, the south of Switzerland is Merlo. thinking about to uh, go live while I'm cooking <laughs> yeah that would be something different no? so you see my my special spe well, special re re receipt receipt um, of risotto yeah you can do risotto in thousands different um, variante variants variants yes and I always do like oh, here a spoon and there a spoon and here a little bit of and yeah that's actually freestyle yeah I cook freestyle <laughs> I know some basics but the rest I do freestyle But you already know me, I'm not the one who is reading the whole cookbook. <laughs> cookbook. Yeah. Ah, I'm looking so forward for the warm air. You know, when I was a child, my parents decided so. Now we go into Ticino and in the north it was raining and bad weather and, and we as children we thought come on what you want into Ticino it's bad weather but yeah when you come out of the tunnel not always but mostly when in the north it's bad weather in the south it's good weather because of the mountains and yeah and almost every time when we came out of the tunnel there was nice weather yeah that's why they call it Sonnenstube in Swiss German uh, sun living room Sonnenstube yeah where the sun is always shining in the living room Oh, it snowed here do a little bit, huh? Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, Brunig is on about a thousand meters above sea level, so they um they get some snow. So we drive again. <laughs> 
from winter into spring. Hopefully. The temperature on Brunig here is 4 degrees. Oh look, they, yeah, they got a lot of snow in the night. Huh? We had about three, three storms in, um, in the last week. Yeah. But now for two days it's a little bit calm. At least in the south. That's why we go there. <laughs> yeah. salt in the roads so it's easy to drive oh, look at the hatchet willingly you see the funny clouds over there South, a lot of flowers will blooming. Also cherry blossom. I I will let you know when they are ready. Well, or you will see it on my Instagram account, maybe first. ride every time huh? from Brunig. From Brunig we go to um, yeah, Lungen of course and uh, Lungen and then Tunnel, Sarnen, Tunnel, Stons and then the long tunnel which uh, brings us to Kanton Schwitz oder Uri? Nein, Uri, glaube ich. Zu Kanton Uri. And from there, yeah, we have some kilometers and then we are in the Gotthard Tunnel. It's such lovely weather today. Okay. Friendly, friendly weather. It is like nature saying, oh, so sorry. <laughs> sorry for the storms. We have now a tunnel and then we are back again. Yeah? Here we are back again. Yeah, this tunnel goes around Lungen. To be honest, in spring, I never take the tunnel <laughs> because it's too beautiful. Yeah, on the other side, so I always want to see what's around it. But today, it's okay.
clouds do. Huh? These are my favorite clouds. Yeah. Ja, 
yeah, this is something you never know in Switzerland. When it is windy and stormy, you can't go up on a mountain. Also for sure, Well, you can go uh, by by yourself, by your feet, with your feet. Uh, but uh, the cable cars they are too dangerous when, when it's stormy.
look look behind there the green and then behind the the white mountains i love it huh? i love it the best thing in spring is when when it is already blooming in the valleys so like the dandelions and uh, fresh new snow on the mountains yeah perfect combination grass down on scorpidium hmm? he woke up break soon, Carl. I think before we go into the hotel, uh, the hotel, the Gotthard tunnel. In about half an hour, Carl. You see the hills over there? The left one is Burgenstuck. Where we also were last week with the boat trip, remember? Tirol Schäppese, Lucerne, yeah. We went up there. Tripod. Yeah, they they have their shop here. Yeah, very cool people. Very complicated. I love easygoing people. You know, actually, not complicated.
straight into this valley there on the right then you see uh, we come to Engelberg yeah with the cool Gabriele cable car. Yeah, we'll do it again in spring. Hopefully. There are so many things to do in Switzerland every day. My life is not enough. I can't. 
cannot stop when he needs to pee. <laughs>
7 degrees. Ja. Spring temperatures. Almost. Our goal is 18. 18 degrees. We want to have 18 degrees in the next two days. Rasta did his business <laughs> outside and we are ready now to take the next part to the Gotthard tunnel. Whoa. Look the mountain behind, looks good huh? in the snow. traffic right now. I'm happy about this fact. Yes, yeah, 1 p.m. so most of the people are still in um, in their lunch break. But soon they are back on the road.
road to Gotthard <coughs> tunnel. There are also uh, Blitzkasten. I don't know the word Blitzkasten in English. You know the the camera who's um, taking pictures when you are too fast. Blitzkasten. I don't know. Um, yeah, there are many Blitzkasten here on this uh, on this route. So be careful. So when you see a side spot with 80 speed, so you go on 80 <laughs> because otherwise you got a picture. Stay on your side, please. DG, no. Maybe tired, huh? I never know. So, like here, you see, you have a sign spot, it's 100, so we go down to 100. Because you never know. Let's see, stop down it all. Zack, bang. And then you have an expensive picture. <laughs> How many degrees? Still 11. 11 degrees. We need to be patient. Huh? of uh, a stopped car stau they they stay they stand here for hours yeah and this is every year except of the corona year the first corona year no car was here because the government said people you need to stay home please and really yeah they all stayed at home so no traffic at Gotthard tunnel that was 2020 yeah yeah must be that was the first year without stau at Gotthard without a queue. It's a club, huh? Queue. A car queue. Ah, oh, that's why they have blinking lights. Because they have construction site here. Okay. So no worry. long ones so I keep recording until we uh, reach the Gotha tunnel huh? Gotha tunnel is about 17 kilometers or 18 17 club we have very long tunnel you need to be very concentrated And you need to keep distance to the to the car in front of you because when something happens it's good to have some distance in the tunnel always a good idea <laughs> oh 
always a good idea. So almost everyone who wants to go into the south, for example, from Belgium or, I don't know, Germany, they all go here. Yeah. They all take the Gotthard Tunnel. Or there's another um, possibility, the San Bernardino. Yeah. Another tunnel. But this is the longer way. So most of the people want to be fast in the south. <laughs> so that's why they, they take this route. Summer. I was talking about Grimsel and I was wrongly talking about Splügen, but it is the Susten Pass. Yeah, now I got it. Yeah, this is always the thing when you when you talk and you should think at the same time. <laughs> yeah, and then it is not my mother language. So, so we get again. some speed it's 120 here again Ja, 
now 80. We need to slow down a little bit. Because soon we are at the Gotthard Tunnel. And before you enter the Gotthard Tunnel, they slow down to 60 speed. then to one way. Well, on the right side, this is for uh, camions, for the big cars, and the left side is for the, the normal cars. a light signal there and then they just leave one camion then they stop then the next camion yeah so they regulate it a little bit aber das nehmen wir mit gell I show this to you, then you see how it works at Gotthard Tunnel. for the cars. Today it's, it's not a big problem because there are not so many so many camions here but when they are here when they have uh, many camions they stand here in a queue so it's better to take the left left route. Yeah and now yeah 70 kilometers you see and now we soon are at the uh, Gotthard Tunnel. Verschwinden wir. Wait, where are you? Yes, and then we see us on the other side. Huh? mountains on the left yeah strong wind I will tell you the temperature a little bit later because um, of the tunnel in the tunnel we have in the middle we have about 30 degrees yeah because of the, all the cars you know it's hot really warm um, so I need to wait a little bit and then I can tell you how many degrees we have huh? so in a few minutes when we are a little bit lower because we are still yeah, near the mountains now many tunnels are coming again but not long tunnels Three months. 
months, I think. Yeah, very unusual. Um, and of because of this, they had uh, forest fire in certain areas. Wasn't that funny? Yeah. You know, sometimes a little bit rainy is not that bad. Huh? But three months, no rain. Ah, that's... That's quite not a lot. the way back on the highway I had to control something um, today I was on Facebook and then I just saw that someone with my name Silvia Michel uh, shared a lot of my stuff you know and yeah that, that made me a little bit confused and then I checked and I had the same story last year that someone imitated my Facebook site, um, wrote uh, the, the name Silvia Michel, Silvia Michel, and uh, then shared a lot of my stuff so that the page looks similar like my Facebook page. And after this, they. Um, they announced the competition and to be to participate the competition you needed to sign something on another page and uh, when you signed this <laughs> you yeah you lost money so that was the, the trick of them and yeah they tried to do it again today and I just could stop it before they really could um, do the fake side. Yeah, it's amazing. The internet, the internet has so many good sides, but there are also, of course, bad people around trying to cheat other people. And yeah, you should be aware of this. And then I did a post on my on my Facebook site and warned my my followers that they shouldn't sign anything. Anyway, you shouldn't sign anything uh, on, on on the internet if you don't if you're not sure that it's really really a, a safe site. And and some people asked me how they could see the difference if it is my Facebook page or yeah a fake Facebook page of mine and there are two things you can control the one thing is I'm happy that I have the, the blue badge after so many years so this is quite easy for people to look if the blue badge is there and the blue badge means the page is verified of Facebook. That means uh, Facebook um, confirmed that this is the original page of mine. So this is the one thing. But if you don't have a blue badge and this happens to you, there is another thing you can control and this is the URL. Um, because they cannot they cannot um, copy the URL and on my Facebook site 
in the URL it's written Michel Photography CH at the end. First is Facebook slash and then Michel Photography CH. And uh, if they do a fake page, they they just take another name. And um, yeah, this is the second thing you can control to be sure if you are on a fake site or not. Yeah. Sie probiert jetzt mit allen Mitteln. They try so many things to cheat people. Yeah, this is this is our world, but our world was always like this. There was always good and there was always bad. And um, the thing is, in the internet, uh, there is no control for nothing. They try to control something, but um, you see there are millions of accounts everywhere. So it's, it's impossible to control all this. So everyone should think about what he's doing in the internet and what he is signing and what he's believing. Uh, yeah. That's why I try to, to be as authentic as possible and um, yeah, to let people know this is a real person, this is not fake. But um, yes, it's, it's not that easy sometimes. But I remember last year they tried about six times. They tried six times to uh, to create fake pages of mine, and um, I, I ha uh, didn't have the, the blue badge at this time. So I reported and reported, and I asked my follower to report, and that was quite um, difficult to to report it to Facebook that there's something wrong. Yeah, it's schwierig, schwierig. What I, what I did then, because they created a, a fake website, which imitated my website, of course, to, to make people believe that it is mine. And um, if you see something like this, uh, a website, which is fake website and doing, uh, for example, a competition, an illegal competition, um, you could report the website to Google. Yeah, that's what I did. I reported all these websites to Google um, and told them what's wrong with the website. And after one hour, the website was offline. So I think Google uh, take this quite serious um, when something happens like this because you know um, it's about a lot of money huh? that's why they choose big sites big fa Facebook sites with, with big followers um, with uh, a big reach that uh, they could cheat at least some some few people, you know, from the masses. Because you always find someone which believes what he reads. That's how it works. Yeah. Monkey business. Sag mir dem. Yeah. But I'm happy that it, it doesn't bring me out of my comfort zone today. Last year I was totally um, upset because I, I did not know what to do. But today I, I learned and now I know what, what I, I can do as a consumer, as 
Yeah, as a person with an account on Facebook or Google or whatever. So there are possibilities. Sometimes it takes more time, um, but mostly they do something. First of all, I'm here to show you the, the nice nature of Switzerland, but in the second step, I want to show people to, to do the right thing and to be authentic. I wasn't an angel my whole life, for sure, but I think the most important thing in life is that you learn from your thoughts, no? yeah. from your mistakes. Because everyone is doing mistakes. But I think there are there are little differences. If you are doing a mistake and you you want to do the mistake, you know, with criminal intensity, intensity kind of, or if you just did the mistake because you you were young, or you had a bad mood, or I, I don't know. I think it's it's a little bit different. to go and then we are there at Al Rustico <laughs> and um, yeah then I think I will check a little bit the much at all um, if there is some light left I don't know and if not maybe tomorrow huh? then we chill a little bit and then we do our risotto maybe <laughs> I'm still not sure if we will go live. Rasta and I in the kitchen, cooking risotto. <laughs> that would be nice.
at least it snowed a little bit in the mountains.
now we are in the flat part of the Gino. Huh? We came down from Gotthard and now we are in the flatlands. The Cinesi flatlands. Quasi. <laughs> Restless trip until now. Huh? So the anti-cyclish race is when you drive anti-cycli, you know, I mean, <laughs> anti anti cycli, cycli. Ah, you know what I mean. When you travel, then when no one is traveling, or on the other direction. Antizyklisch. Yeah. Yeah, I can feel the wind now. Ooh. I need to hold both hands on the wheel. Zeppner sowieso gal. Zeppner. Was man nicht alles sollte bleiben. Summer, 
it's totally overcrowded. Yeah, it's it's good to be in the, in these little rustico villages before ten because after ten, after ten, it's full of people. Yeah. So I hope that I have a little privacy <laughs> today, <laughs> today and tomorrow. And on Thursday, what's on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday? Yeah, on Thursday we go back again. We only stay two nights. Milano is 100 kilometers. You 
could go shopping to Milano. <laughs> no, uh -uh. Ich 
even more if you want. But if you want to check the budget a little bit and yeah, to not pay too much, it's a good idea to, to be on booking.com. And but when I when I uh, when I check booking.com, I always check directly the website if they have maybe a better price. Um, and this is what you need to do. Always comparing a little bit. Um, because sometimes on the website they have a, a good price or maybe a better room with a better view or yeah. So before I book I check hotel course, booking, website, <laughs> I check everything to get the best price and the best rooms. and this is another tip the prices during the week are often lower than uh, at the weekends because at the weekends everyone wants to go into a hotel and staying overnight and, um, yeah but during the week many people are working how much yeah. many people are working that's why um, the prices are lower yeah this is good for me <laughs> for my work so I don't need to pay too much this is a, this is a re recognition trip where I just check the area a little bit I check nature a little bit um, if the grass is green or not and uh, the next time when I will be back in Ticino I will probably have a cooperation with Ascola Locarno Turismo and um, yeah, then, they, then they look for the hotel and yeah, don't stop Industry zone of uh, the area Ascon Locarno. You can find everything here. They see the product, the product, 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 di Gino, Fischer, Möbel, Grande Mondo del Sonno. Um, yeah, what's I mean? You, you find everything here. It's not the nicest area ever, but yeah, you need to drive on this road to get to Verzaskatal, to Marciatal, to Locarno, to Ascona. Gambarogno. Ah, Gambarogno. That was the mountain where they had forest fire. Yeah, Camboronio. This is the mountain you can see over there. I, I think two people made a, a fire and that's why they had the forest fire then. Ah, this is stupid, right? Weiß es doch, wenn es noch in der Schnee ist.
There was a song. Oh, mysterious girl. I want to get close to you. That was Peter Andre. Yeah. Was he the, the husband of Katie Price? I don't know. I think so. Close to mine. <laughs> oh, that's all. Yeah, something like this. So now, so now. Yeah, it makes me wonder now if if there is some green around already. Well, I don't think that the trees are already green, but maybe some flowers.
Now they have Italian blood in their veins. <laughs> in the south of Switzerland. In the south of Switzerland, they mostly speak Italian. But in the touristic areas like uh, Locarno, Ascona, they mostly speak a little bit of German and a little bit of English too. Watch out for the palm trees everywhere. Gardada, the hotel, and this is over there on the, when you see on the right on the mountain over there, you can maybe see a cable car uh, thing, never a cobble cable, and up there is Gardada, yeah, very nice, maybe next time I go up there, huh, we will see, or even next time, <laughs> see palm trees and Mediterranean flair of uh, of this area. I'm sure you can feel it. Ah, 
are these cherry trees? Come on, these are cherry trees, dude. Already? Oh, I need to check the Locarno Street if the cherry trees are ready. Yeah. Before we go to our Rustico, I need to check the street. When they are blooming here already. I'm sure they will bloom there too. Or there weren't cherry trees. Maybe. Better with Rosefinde. We will find it out. Cherry, cherry tree time now. There you go. No, I want to go to Ascona now. I'm so sorry. I changed my plans. We just do now a little turn to Ascona and then um, we go to our Rustico. It's already so springy, huh? Yeah. We go now on the left because I want to check uh, the street of Ascona because of the cherry trees. Madonna del Sasso, this is, a, oh, what is it? A castle? Or a Kloster? Or, I don't know. Something to visit in Lugarno. Madonna del Sasso. Oh, look at all, eh? Lugarno. Almost in spring mood, I think. So many people. Crazy. Ich tu noch nicht springen, Mann. But I don't. Yeah, mom. No, it's mom.
So how it going? The boss don't want to go. No. Come here. Then we go. Oh, life. Life seems to be normal again. Huh? We have almost no corona restrictions anymore. Almost. We need to wear masks masks in uh, the public transport. We still need to wear the mask there. But uh, in shops and and uh, theater and whatever, um, we don't need to wear the mask. You can, you can, but you don't have to. Yeah, it's not obligatory. body must be used back again to viruses and bacteria and nerds so a little bit because if it, if it is if everything is too clean it's, it's not good for the body I think oh it's kind of like they say oh it's too fresh yeah people told us children to eat Dirt, dirt, dirt. Zo gaan we het goed. Kom, kom. Kom, 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 kom. Zo. En nou. There are so many signs, signs, sign signals. Ja. It's the city. Sorry, that's me. Sometimes I become crazy a little bit when, when it's too boring, and I begin to. <laughs> yeah. Begin to do crazy things, or I sing, or I rap, or I. Whatever. Whatever! So, Dolly, what are you doing? What's going on? Back to the right. 
right way. Very good, we can go down there. The cherry blossoms are blooming in the main street of uh, to Ascona, where we drive right now. And if they are blooming, I will okay, But it doesn't look like that. Yeah. So let me check. So all these trees you can see here on the street, these are cherry blossom trees. But I'm happy they are not blooming yet. Yeah, but some of them, you see, some of them are blooming. Ha, huh, okay. Some of them are blooming, but not only a few ones, huh? So it's surely one week again. Until they are blooming, at least one week. Yeah. And when they start blooming, they bloom for one week. About. The problem is when there is strong wind, <laughs> yeah, the flowers are gone in two days. So, yeah. Das musst du schon hier planen, gell? Halten Sie sich links. Yeah. Now I'm ready for you, baby. We go to. Was uh, haben wir gesagt? Ronquino. Ronchino, si 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 si. So now she's happy with me. Look, blooming everywhere, flowers, 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 flowers. Okay, I need to go back in. Um, I think in one week, one week or two weeks, and then the cherry blossom already. I feel it. I can feel. Yeah, you see this this is what I do when when sometimes people are asking me oh you are just at the right place on the right time yeah, yeah but the reason the reason of this is um, I check it out before <laughs> you know I'm checking the area right now to see how it looks like maybe in two weeks that's what I do and um, this is time I invest to get the best pictures, to get the best videos and yeah. this is what I do. So now we go to the direction we want to go. Huh? We just oh, we, come on into the Valle Maggia. Ten 
Vento Valli, un Zernone Valle Maggia. Sì, pronto. <laughs> no, I don't speak Italian. I would like, I would love to speak Italian. I love the Italian language. But <sighs> I cannot do anything, everything. Maybe I stay for half a year in the south of Switzerland once, then, huh? then I speak perfectly Italian. Then ah. pizza or risotto. Italian flair of Switzerland is here, is located here. But the problem is really they need some rain. Huh? How, how will the, the trees grow and be green when there is no rain? You can't do anything against it. For example, in Bosco Gurin, which is also located in the Valle Macha, also um, Nocli Vitrine, we had two meters of snow la last winter. As a winter, what did you see? 2020. Um, and this winter, I think they had 10 centimeters. Yeah, it was so different these these two years. Crazy, huh? So now we come to Ponte Brolla. is on the left and on, on this place there are thousands of tourists on the on the lying on the rocks and or um, what they also do here is diving um, in the river Macho. It's not ganz uh, ungefährlich it's not it's a little bit dangerous you must be aware of uh, when it's raining over in the uh, up in the mountains, you shouldn't go in diving. Yeah, because you want to the Yeah, and sometimes you cannot uh, you cannot know when or if rain is falling in the mountains. So you probably could be surprised the water is going high, you know? Obvio. Jetzt muss ich Hobby gehen. Everyone has his hobby. So, now we are in our venue and we should soon be now in our little village. 
Mensch, Trompino. Ja. Where our Jolly is. Waiting for us. It was quite cool when I booked on uh, booking.com. They, they sent me an SMS with the whole description what I should do when I come to this place and with the key and everything and so. That's cool. Yeah. So you can do the check-in by yourself. Yeah, easily. Still 18 degrees. Yeah, a little bit green grass, I mean. <laughs> I mean. Yeah, but as I told you before, it's the recognition. Rekognoszierig. Yeah. When you check out the area. I think this is a, a word from military. Rekognoszierig. Oh, it's really windy, huh? Hey, an almost green tree. Cool. Yeah, I think in two weeks we must come back. come back Not a long one, no worry. We already see light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, Abbiegung rechts, Wolin. She wants to go on the right. I think we are very near. Very near. I checked the area a little bit on Google so that I'm not that surprised when I when I see the the roads. So, yes. No, not now. She was too early. We overacting, huh? <laughs> Little bit overacting. Sun is already behind the hills. Oh. Yeah, sun is still low. Not as low as in deepest winter, but still low. Who is watching this? <laughs> Till now. Huh? Who is watching me? I got this feeling somebody's watching me. Maybe not. Ta Ronchini, Sharkshivixi. It was written. I think we have some sun there. Hopefully. So many grottos here. Was storch it in Aha, okay. Yeah, now we need to go on the right. 
Ja, jetzt muss ich mich dann konzentrieren. I need to concentrate myself, that I don't miss my rustico. <lacht> Ronchini, this is uh, our place where we stay, maybe. So, where are we go now? Nach 200 Metern biegen Sie rechts ab. Okay. Dann biegen Sie rechts ab. Where now? Here? Maybe here, huh? Vielleicht. Biegen Sie rechts yeah. ab. Dann okay. biegen Sie rechts ab. Okay. I'm here. Oh, rechts. Again on the right. And then we should be there, huh? Even here. Sehen wir dann. Otherwise we need to drive back. Yeah, this is the, the one parking place, but there is another one up there, I think. We will see. Otherwise, we go back. So, and then. Yeah, another parking. Metern, biegen Sie links ab. Und dann biegen Sie links ab. <lacht> Such a surprise where we end. Oh, irgendwo. Maybe. Maybe, yeah. Maybe, maybe not. We will see. Where we will end. Still building the house. <laughs> Nach 200 Metern Ankunft. Aha, now, maybe. You sure? No, yeah, we'll check it out. Otherwise, we will be here, huh? Yeah, I think we, we are quite there, but we need to take another parking place, I think. <laughs> yeah, also, see you later, huh? We do a little rustico experience. I booked a rustico for us and me. And I show you how it looks like. Yeah, they have a kitchen. And then when you go up, the sleeping room. And when we go down again. Small living room. Ah, Rasta is included. <laughs> Hi. Und du Finch? You like it? Huh? You can do barbecue here. Huh? So nice. Looks cool, eh? Huh? 